Right, I'm talking about Robert Falcon Scott, a.k.a. Scott of the Antarctic. <laughs> Excuse me. 1911, Robert's kicking about. He used to be in the Navy. He's been everywhere, mate. Literally everywhere, you name it, he's been it. And he's like, I'm done with this 18 to 30 shit. I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go South Pole, mate. We want to do research, we want to find out about what's going on down there. So it's all about the research, but in his head he's thinking, I, Robert Falcon Scott, Madeleine Falcon, write it down, F-A-L-C-O-N. I'm going to be the first one to the South Pole, mate. So he's off. He's gone. To, to the place, to the South Pole. 4th of January, 1911. Scott and the lads arrive in Antarctica. We've got Lawrence Oates, Captain Lawrence Oates. And he's saying things like, I dislike Scott intensely. Scott doesn't know what he's doing. He's reckless. I should be in charge of this whole affair sort of thing. You've got Edward Miller, Mr. Scientist. Wilson. Oh, piss. Edward Wilson. He's over there just constantly on the phone to his missus, like, I'll be home soon, babes. BRB. <laughs> what time are you gonna be on for tea? He's like, in about seven months. Like, it's a, it's a nightmare. You've got Henry Bowers, who was an explorer. The Hank. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit then. It's fine. Then, bang. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Telegram for Scott of the Antarctic. Scott of the Antarctic is like, you won't believe who it is. Fucking Raul Amundsen. Norwegian boy. Tall, blonde, handsome. He's tanned even though Norway's cold. That's how handsome this man is. If Hitler had won, Raul Amundsen's what would have happened. <laughs> but you get the idea. This guy's airy and his shit is what I'm trying to say to you, right? He says, hey, Scott. Was gonna go North Pole, but Americans have gone to the North Pole. No point now. I'm going South Pole. Go suck a seal cock. We're gonna beat you there, mate, and you're done for. And then Scott sees it and he's like, wow, that guy's good at English. That's his first thought. Second thought is like, boys, we're up against a very big man. So they're like, oh, we better get headed off, like. Captain Lawrence Oates goes, how the fuck are we getting to the South Pole? And Scott's all like, we're skiing. Everyone can ski. And Lawrence is like, um, nobody can ski. Scott's like, what, no one can ski? They're like, nah, no one can ski, man. Scott the uh, time is like, oh, we need to change this up. They're like, brilliant. What's your idea? Roller skates. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna get some roller skates. Sorry, Maybe sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, we're gonna have to walk it. <laughs> the brand new series of Drunk History. Wednesdays at 10, only on Comedy Central. Checks him out, Queen slides off her fucking throne like it's varnished, and Sir Walter Alley goes, Queen, I've bought you things, I've bought you tobacco. <laughs> <laughs>